Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, and welcome back to Fantasy Skies. So, uh, what we did last time was we set up the water wheel and the uh, mechanism thing here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we set up this thing here. Um, so, yeah, all I did was move it to the side, make the platform bigger. And then, um, kind of getting prepared for today's episode. So, what we're going to work on today is getting the crushing wheels. So, that way we can do uh, sand, or, well, sorry, gravel, sand, and dust. Um, and we want to get them sieved. We want to get everything smelted. And we want to get everything put into storage drawers. So that is the ultimate goal for this little setup here. Um, and then this way we'll have resources slowly trickling in and I won't have to beat the crap out of stuff like this anymore. Um, I found that iron was kind of my my low point right now. So what I did was I just uh, changed all these out for some iron. And I've been kind of like burning through my wood supply because of this though. But now I got like over 600 iron. So... We should be good for today's episode anyways. So what this is going to involve us doing, uh, if we go look here at the crushing wheels, we have to make this crafting um, thing. But in order to do it, we need 21 of these mechanical crafters. So each one would hold an item, okay? And then they all combine into one, and then they make their way to the end where you get two crushing wheels for one. So we need enough stuff to make one, two, three, six crushing wheels. Okay. Uh, so that's the goal is try to make six crushing wheels with what we got. Um, we have unlimited power, like when it comes to create right here. <clears throat> so we should be able to just set all this up. And not have to worry about power because we don't have to feed this system anything. It just works, right? So we just get free power from it. So let's go and start trying to create these mechanical crafter things. Um, you do get three per craft. So technically we only have to do this seven times. And we should be good to go, right? So, in between streams, I did make seven of these. I don't know how many of those I have. And crafting tables, I know I have a few. So, one, two, three. So, we're able to do three. Okay, what was I missing here? The cogwheels. Really? Really? That's pretty uh, crazy, considering I took the other ones back. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. All right. Um, so that was three, four. All right. So now we're missing crafting tables. So now I just need three crafting tables, right? One, two, three. If we go back to here, one, two. <clears throat> now we're missing the uh, brass casings. <laughs> uh, I made some brass in between the uh, in between streams, so that was pretty good. Uh, let's make like six of these, I guess, or maybe maybe a few more. God knows how many of these I'm gonna need in the future. There, right, we'll just trim them all off. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't get this one, apparently. There we go. Then we got a bunch of those brass casings. And then uh, should be able to go back and get two more. That makes us the 21 that we need. Okay. Going along pretty good so far. No complaints. No complaints. Um, I should probably sleep. My bed is over here. All right, so now we slept. 
Now I think I'm going to put this over here. Um, it's a one, two, three. One, two, three, like this, and like this. I'm going to need some, some blocks to stand on. Um, should have some cobble around here. Uh, you know what? I'll just uh, go take it out of this cobble right here. Two. Why are... Oh, I forgot to... Um... Oh, silly me. Alright, I'll have to do that afterwards. I was removing stuff around and... Here, I'll explain what I was doing here. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to end up moving all this. I'm just going to make it dirt. And uh, we're going to have grass going all the way around. And I'm going to leave, like, these two on the side. Excuse me. Um, and then, here I want every single stone being created. So, there's six different stones that we can make. Uh, there's black stone, cobbled deep slate, a Probably might not be making this, but we'll see. Uh, cobblestone, deep slate, obsidian, stone, and I think that's where we started with blackstone. So each one of these are going to be kind of useful for their own little thing. The blackstone, I also discovered that you can sieve blackstone. And if you sieve crushed blackstone, okay, uh, let's go you. Let's find the sieve. I know I've seen it here. You can crush it. And then you can sieve it. And you can get ancient debris from it. I I didn't know this was a thing. So that's pretty cool. So we got a good way of getting ancient debris and black dye. So that's pretty cool. And some more magma cream. I think there's a few other things we can sift to and we get magma cream. So... That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome because I was looking for a way to to get like uh, magma creams and stuff like that. So, anyways, back to over here. We'll uh, continue building this, and then yeah, it's five more this way, and then we'll just jump up here like this so each one of these are connected because they have these little cog wheels running through the middle of them so we only have to feed power down into like one of these right here so getting power over here actually might not be that hard because like considering it's like right here right i don't want to like put it over i'd rather go hide it underneath so we'll try to find some way maybe hide it that could be a little bit more complicated though I uh, might have to come out like this put like um, one of those chain gear things here I think I might do that and then just run it across all right so let's get some stuff here um, I'm just going to Possibly destroy this like that. And then this way I can access stuff below and get there. As long as I don't fall in the hole. Alright, so let's go. Actually, you know what? There's one thing I think we should be able to make now. Um, and if we go back to Simple Sorge. Okay. I want to see if we can make this now. Oh, it was the slime balls. That's what I was having a hard time trying to get. Okay, so magma cream and a bucket of water will give us slime balls. I think this is what we should do right now. I think maybe I should get some of that black stone. Do I have any black stone? Mm, hey, would you look at that? I got 34 of this stuff. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, I think we might be, let's see if we can hopefully get at least a couple of magma cream 
to uh, get some slime balls. Because I know I'm missing... No. Let me look at this first. You. So, diamond is going to get you that. Gold will get you everything. I think I'm going to go with the gold mesh. I think that's what I'm going to do here. That way I just get all the good stuff. There we go. Now let's sift this. And hopefully... We got one. Oof. We got one. Alright. Um, that's a little unfortunate. Alright, so... How many slime balls do we have? I have one. Okay, so now we got two slime balls. So maybe I should put this on... Where is that? Right here. You're making me stone, so stop making me stone. Make me black stone instead. And then we'll just leave that there like that for now. Um, so let's go over here. Since we can't do that, we're just missing. We'll go back to making create stuff. Create. All right. So I'm going to take this with me because I'm probably going to need it. Probably going to need some gear boxes. Um, definitely going to need one of these. Now, these are the things up here I was looking at. Uh, gear shift. Encased chain drives. These things right here. So I'm missing iron nuggets. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's make some of those. Uh, one, two, three. Let's go with three, maybe. Uh, one, two... Let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can, where is this? Take half of those. All right. Um, I am going to make some more of these. And I figure if I make three of these things... I should be fine. I, I use a lot of casings and stuff, so I may as well just make quite a few. So, uh, here we go. And you can use these things to decorate to the, um, you can decorate your, your, um, belts like that. It's kind of neat. And your, uh, I think also your shafts, you can put, uh, casings on them. Kind of, I think so. Anyways, we'll uh, go back into here. We'll uh, toss one of these there. One, two. Okay, so that'll give us the six going there. Um, probably going to need some more shaft. So we'll take some shaft. And I think that should be all. I think we'll be good like that. All right, so... Um, the plan is, the plan is, without falling down the hole, we're going to put that there, we're going to put this here, okay, so that's what's going to run the, <clears throat> run the contraption here, right, then... My plan is we're going to use these chain drives. And I'm going to put one here, one below, and one there. And that way all you see is this, right? Um, do these connect? Okay, they do. Uh, that probably won't work, right? Of course it won't. Why would that work? So let's take these out. And see if I can make a way down. I really just like, there we go, that mod. All right, so now we're just going to jump down hither. And we should be able to do what I want to do. 
Um, I don't know if that's going to be low enough. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, so that worked. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure there. So we go like this. Oh, that's not the right way. So like this. All right. Um, like that. And oh, really? Come on. Really? You're going to do this to me? There we go. All right, so we got that and that. Uh, then I believe if I just put a gearbox here like this, I could run some shaft on this. Oh, we're stressed out. Really? So... If I just hold this... And I bring it up more. Oh yeah, it's just fully stressed. There's I got no more stress units in that. Really? That doesn't encourage me. So one second. How'd you get on there? Um So really, this is just taking that many stress units. How many, each one of these is taking 100? No, come on. Can't be taking all 128 stress units. There's like, <laughs> that's a lot of bloody stress. Uh, heck, is there's nothing... Okay, so that's going. Took those off. That going. Okay, because I have that stuff running off of the belt, right? Um, <clears throat> but that that belt doesn't take any like stress, really. Like, it's all this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out when it comes to power. Then, interesting, interesting. Now, if I were to lower this one and put it at zero, right? Would that give me the stress units? No, huh? So it locks up the whole thing. So each one of these are, are they, I wonder if they're really giving me the 500 each or is it only 500 per one? Because that would really suck if it was only the 500 per one and I wasn't getting the whole whole thing, right? Uh, let me disconnect this here. Now, 512 stress units. Yeah, I'm really thinking that each one of these are... I, I can't have all three of these together. Because it's almost looking like uh, I'm only getting 512. Because technically, I should have like 2,500 stress units, right? Technically. If they all work together. And unless this is really taken out. How much do these use? Does it say here? How much... Uh, Two times RPM. <sighs> yeah, the crafting thing's pretty easy. I was just kind of wondering about the... Oh, you can oh, put it onto a, on one of those. That I didn't know. See, something like this. Uh, connecting inventories and crafters, no. 
All right, so that's not really useful. Um, I'm really sad here. Really sad. Um, Cause that should that should work. That really should work. Bring it right to the end, and then I'm just going to try connecting this again. Oh. Fail. Yeah, see? And it, so I must be only getting 512. I wish it used to show how many stress units it used to, it used to get here. It wasn't just RPMs. If I get rid of that again, does it show me? Does not. Only shows me the stress unit of this thing right here. So I'm really, really, really thinking that only that these aren't uh, that these aren't going. Well, there's only one way to really find out, right? Is if um, I put these back, right? You guys are back. Um, and I'll put you back as well. And then what I'll do is I'll... Uh... Okay, so you see, we got 512 stress units here, and it stopped. If I put... Uh... A water wheel back, it still stops. So that's a thousand. That's fifteen hundred. So these are what are we doing here? Two fifty six, two fifty six. Okay, so these are oof, that's a whole water wheel. Okay, these are like so that's a uh, two and a half water wheels right here. Okay, all right, all right. So we just might not have enough power. Okay. So that means I'm going to need more create power. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's look at some different create power. I think they got windmills. All right, so I tore all that down. Um, I've been checking out some things, and I think the best thing that we should do is uh, skip water wheels, skip the um, the windmills, and I think we should go for a steam engine. I think this would probably be our best solution because... With four steam engines, you can get up to like, I think it's like 72,000 stress units. And I think that's what we're going to need in order to run all of this. And I think that's what we're going to work on now. Um, just because the water wheels are not bad. Okay, it's going to give me... Uh, 5,000 stress units, but it won't be enough to run everything that's here. So it would just be one massive thing of, um, of water wheels. So we're going to skip that. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go and take a couple of things and just toss them in here just because I don't want to put them away. And I think the rest of the stuff will just go drop away and we'll uh, go create the stuff here. We'll go make what we need and uh, I'll go get all that ready and I'll come back. That way um, we're not watching me just craft the entire thing and uh, we'll do some building together and we'll get this thing all set up. So give me a little bit and I'll be back.
All right, so I think I got everything I need for our little setup. So in here I have, let's see here, we got the water that we're going to bring in with the aqueous accumulators. We have our tank that we're going to turn into a boiler. We got some pipes, some shafts, that's the stressometer. Got some gearboxes, got some more pipes, uh, got the steam engines, this is what's important, this is what's going to make our, our whole thing go. Got a pump, and I think that's all we're going to need out of there, oh maybe these. And I might take the flywheels just to make things look pretty. And we're going to need, uh, probably not, alright, so. <laughs> all right we'll just throw all those in there because those are all the things that we're going to need so in order to make all of that work all this revolves around these blaze burners as you can see they're empty well we need to go and fill those and the only way to fill those is by finding a blaze and right clicking this thing on a blaze and you're going to trap the blaze inside so we're going to go to the nether and fortunately for us in the nether, we spawned in an area where there's lots of blaze because we are in a fortress. So it shouldn't take us very long to find a blaze in here. Now, as long as we don't get owned by everything that's in here, we'll be fine. Now, fire usually indicates blaze. There's one way over here. Let's see if I can get to him. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. No, no, down, down, down. Thank you. All right, so we did get caught on fire. That sucks, but that's one. Now we got uh, only three more to go. What are you? Hello. Oh, and you can get right up here, too. Hello. Nice. I made an advancement. Okay, he withers, though. That's not cool. All right, so. Let's see if we can find some more blaze around here. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's more over there. All right, so let's try going around. What hit me? Not quite sure. Okay, so there's another guy here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this effect that you're putting on me? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like this uh, weapon. It seems to freeze enemies. Alright. Uh, that's a big rock golem over there. That's pretty neat. Alright, so... How did we get back on the other side? <laughs> uh, crap. Okay, so there's a blaze spawner right there. Right, right there. Oh, okay, well, there's another blaze here. Oh, 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 what a dodge. Bam. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is this? Thief. Interesting. Random fallen adventurer, and I kill it all. I got his stuff. Someone killed him, and I managed to get his loot. All right, so oh oh. Okay, so he's the one that gives me that uh, horrible, horrible effect. Okay, so I got to go this way in order to go home. I'm gonna keep that in mind. All right. We're getting some a little bit of loot out here. That's not bad. 
Okay, all we need is one more, everybody. Just one more. Just one more blaze. So let's hopefully we can just keep running around here like this. And uh, get another blaze. That would be awesome. Really wouldn't mind getting over there, though. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. We have some blaze. Can you come over this way, please? Probably not, huh? Oh, yeah, snipe me. That's not cool. Alright. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get you guys. But another one did spawn back here. I like the speed boost I get when enemies hit me. I think that's awesome. There we go. Alright, so we got all the blaze burners that we need. <laughs> Let's get out of this death trap. And go back home. I believe we turn here. What's in here? Alright. Nobody important. And we go. We're good. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the... Probably the most difficult part of all of that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Alright, so... I was thinking, I was thinking, how big, okay, so, one, two, three, four. So, we obviously have to feed these fuel, something for it to, uh, to heat up. Now, the hottest thing that it can eat is a blaze cake. One of these things right here. Now, they're a blaze cake put with lava. Blaze cake is cinnabar, cinder flour, sugar, and any kind of egg. So I'm assuming that we could just get some chickens and do eggs. Okay, so cinnabar is crushed netherrack. Interesting. Okay, so I think what we're going to probably do is, like, feed them, like, wood and stuff like that until we can get the system going. And, uh, yeah. All right, so let's get rid of all this junk that we have on top of us here. Bam. You know, I I want to sideline to do something. <laughs> Which I think would probably be very beneficial. Um... So I did manage to get a lot more of this blackstone from over there. So maybe we can chop some of this up and sift it. And hopefully we can get a couple of, uh, hopefully we can get a couple of, um, the slime there. And then we can build the remote control. Because that would be great. That would save me so much running around. And it's all about time saving too, right? You know? That's the one good thing about Minecraft. Is you get... <clears throat> you can kind of get lost in everything that you're doing. So you don't necessarily have to, like... Keep doing the same thing or whatever. You can get sidetracked pretty easily. And obviously you can see that... Uh, it happens quite often to me that I get sidetracked. But that's fine. Because we advance in all kinds of different ways. The episodes are are fulfilling because there's all kinds of good stuff happening in them. So um, we might not be exactly orderly in the things that we're doing. But uh, it's working for us. <laughs> oh. Whoa, what was that? That was some kind of like... Sweet. That was a neat move. Alright, so let's go get rid of this. Because I don't want a uh, stone on me. And then let's go sieve this. And hopefully... Hopefully... What was it again? Was it the... Gold one was the better one, right? Yeah. So we do the gold one. Alright, so right away we got... All the magma cream that we need. That's good. That is totally awesome. I'm just going to sift it all because why not? We're here doing it. 
But that is so awesome. I'm really happy about that. Because now we should be able to get the uh, remote control. I just want to get all this over and done with. I'll deal with the pebbles at another time though. I won't do them right here. And we got the black dye. The black dye is nice. It's very nice. That magma cream. That's wicked. Alright, so we'll just go toss all that in the system for now. And then uh, we'll deal with that later. We'll keep this. And then... Did I put my buckets back? No, I have them over here. So... Take these five buckets, bunch of water. We can take this and craft it down. I'll get a few of them here. There we go. Perfect. So now, <laughs> I've been waiting for so long for this. Alright, so we'll just toss that in there, get rid of that, and we'll go, uh, add simple. And then we'll look for that remote, it's this one right here. Okay, so now we're just missing this patent. That we can do. And ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We got the remote control. Now this is awesome because, oh, oh wait, I gotta go click it here. There. There. Now, I can access my inventory from anywhere. Oh, this isn't the crafting one, though. <clears throat> Which is the crafting one? Crafting remote. Oh. So, one is the... Okay. Let's go check this out. Maybe I just built the whole, the whole wrong remote. Uh, what are we missing here? These are sea lanterns. One. Prismarine crystals. You. Are. Where did we get these? Get these from sifting sand. Well. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, looks like I'm going to sift some sand. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so after much sand sifting later, we got uh, enough prismarine to do these last couple of blocks. Three, and then we we'll need two blocks of gold. Oops, and then what is this? An ender chest. Okay, so we're missing. <laughs> no way. All right, obsidian, um, obsidian, obsidian. I need obsidian. Let me get my buckets of water here. Um, we'll get some obsidian. A little bit of, a little bit of running around to do this, but uh, I think we'll be okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let me come over here. Right, to one. To... Is it not taking the bucket of water? Okay. Okay. Um, sure. Whatever. We'll pretend that I guess just didn't happen. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was all about. Alright, let's go back to uh, simple. And then we want this remote here. Now we need another one of these thingies. Now. Beautiful. Alright. Now, now, now. Now I can craft on the fly. I can get whatever I want out of here. Out of my whole system. Now we just gotta set it up. Just the way we set up everything by amount, and there we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now I don't have to run back here every single time. Uh, I think it does have a limit, though. Like, to how far? I'm not quite sure. 
but we'll, we'll, I think there's limit. But anyways, now that we got that done, finally, after all this time, all right, so let's do some boiler action here. So these things are going to need some boilers on top. All right, so that's for steam. So now we take these things here. I can go one here, one there, one here, one there. And then if I really need more power, I think I can put a few more on top, but I think these four will be sufficient. And then, if I'm not mistaken, you grab shafts, and you just put shafts at the end. And then these shafts will all connect, I believe. Alright, maybe not like that. Maybe I gotta put something else first. Alright, so let's grab that. What do I want all these to connect to? Uh, I have an idea. Oh, see what? I, look, I'm already doing it. Already doing it. There we go. You go at create. I can use a belt and some more shaft, and then I can do something like this. Or maybe I can have the shaft. Is it not going to rotate for me? No. What if I do the shaft like that? And like that? Can I rotate that? And rotate that? And that one's already fine. Then I could take this belt. And I can do this. And then... These will all run this system, and then I could take an input off of this. So I could put like a casing here and then run it underground. I'll probably put one on both sides to make it look kind of symmetrical. And then send it down. Um, I could even go maybe probably best to do something like this before I even bring it anywhere. I do this, and then I could see the stress units that will be on this thing, right? So, and then that way I could just branch it off down and then send it to wherever I have to go, right? And I think that would probably be the smartest thing to do. Um, can I do one on both sides and then like feed this side of the room and then feed that side of the room? Is that a thing? So, like, what I'm thinking is doing something like this, this, and that. Getting another belt. And then I can get another belt. And then, uh, should I, do I have any more of that kelp? Oh, kelp is with that. And a belt is like this. I only use the one. Well, I'll make a few of them. No way I'm not running back and forth here. And look, I did it again. I ran all the way back over there when I didn't have to. Horrible, horrible. So I'm looking for another one of these. Grab my belt. Here to here. And to there. There we go. All right, so I was just looking at this and thinking about it, and I was thinking about um, maybe what I can do, right? Uh, where did that... Uh... Oh, that was just a shaft, that's true. You just put a shaft there. So what if I get these two to run that side of the room... And these two to run that side of the room. And this way I have 
so much going that way and so much going this way. And then I could just add more engines to fee help feed both sides or whatever, right? And then that way I don't have to do some weird jiggering downstairs and splitting it all off. I can say that this is for that side of the room and that's for that side of the room and I can know what, how much stress is being used. So I think that's a good idea. And then at the same time too, it does look somewhat symmetrical, but uh, it's not. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to connect those two like that. And then run them both. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that would be a thing. I think it's going to break. But when I get it all set up, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, so I won't worry about feeding the blazes anything just yet. Now we need to worry about water. So water is going to be this. Now I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can just do, say this and this, right? And then I'm really, really hoping, oh, it does connect. They do connect. That's nice. And then I was hoping to do this and this. And then uh, but does that pose I think I'm gonna have to put these somewhere else. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh you just can't plop them off like that? Okay. Can't just plop them off. Because I was thinking about the water, right? Um I gotta I'm not thinking about the water. That's the thing. So, technically, these need to go in water, right? So, these would have to be in, like, a little pool of water down here. So, let me grab some stuff out of here, because I think I know that's there. And then my bucket. Okay, I got water here. Two. I'll just grab them all. Why not? And then I'm going to need some cobblestone or something to put that around. Actually, where's my building stone? I got that. Do I have any more of the purple stuff? I do. I am going to take some cobble, though, with me so I can get down there. Right here. All right. So, because I'm going to try to make this look nice at the same time, right? And uh, not just try to butcher everything. So, 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 so. Now, um, I need a way down there. Let me just clear up a little bit of stuff like this. I can always feed the blaze from underneath too, right? And not just necessarily from the sides. I'll just clear these out right now. And I'll uh I'll think about that for for later later episodes on how I should do this. All right, go down, down to here. It should be good. All right, let's build myself a little bit of a platform over so I can see what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna need the purple ones. So these purple ones are gonna have to go here, here, and then here, All right? Because the accuracy accumulators are going to go here and here. So if I put a block here, block here, that has to be blocked off. That has to be blocked off. Then that should be water. And... 
That should be water. So, if I take a bucket here and there. No, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to have to put them farther out from one another. We're going to need that one space in between each other. All right. Um, so let's get rid of this and that. All right. I got it back. That was good. Got that back. Uh, so that's going to have to go back. And this is going to have to go back. Oh, no. Well, that was unfortunate. Can I ace this? Ah, oh. <laughs> I tried. I tried so hard. All right. Um, let's try not to repeat that again. There we go. <laughs> that was funny. All right. I need some more of those purple block things, but I also need my... I also need this. And that. Okay, perfect. Um, I didn't think you were supposed to be able to jump over those, but um, I have been. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the boots that I'm wearing. Alright, so let's close that off. Um, let's close that off. That. 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 Uh, that. Close this off. Get rid of all the cobblestone now. I don't think we need the cobblestone. All right, so. Put water here. Water here. Take that. Put water here. Take that. And we put water there. So. So, so, so. Now we take an accuracy accumulator. We put it here. So now it turned blue. Then we take another one. When we put it there, it turned blue. So. Now we can take our pipes. And I guess we can just run it up like this. Excuse me. Um, pull that out of there. Pull that out of there. So. It has water. It doesn't have heat. It's got a half decent size. We probably could go bigger. But as soon as we feed that heat. Oh, look at that. We see this crap turning. Nice. Now, can I. I can join those two. Interesting. 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 Okay. Um. That was just science. I just wanted to see what would happen uh, if we could do it. But here it's showing uh, a thousand stress units. That's showing a thousand stress units. And the more heat that we give it, we're going to be able to um, make these things go faster and they'll be able to produce more stress. So that's that. Um, I guess I'll just do this. Oops. For now I have my axe on me but uh all right do I have any wood I do have some wood all right let's close that back up we can leave that open for now I guess I don't know if I'm gonna do anything underneath I might do it on the top, on the sides. We'll see. I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so now we got that boiler going. And uh, let's check out the rest. What else we got to do? So now that we got all this uh, up and running, um, we can check out to see roughly what it's going to get for heat when we, uh, we feed these things, right? So let's feed both of those. Now, here it says we're getting 65,000 SU <laughs> with the four engines. That's pretty awesome. 
Here we're putting out 32 on this side and 32 on that side. So as long as we keep that fueled, we'll be we'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, we'll we won't have a problem with with stress anymore, stress units. And I think that looks pretty pretty sick. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's how we're going to do that. And then, like I said, that way this will create half the side room and the other one will do the other half. Um, except I could have put that in the middle. Right? Uh, it's not very symmetrical. But then again, it's only a 2x2 two two tank, so it wouldn't really truly be in the middle. But then again, I probably could have set it better up in the middle. All right, so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing now because I'm. That's going to bother me that that's not really in the middle of the room like that. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, why do I do things like this without checking? I mean, it just tweaks me right out. All right, so I guess. Okay, so that that one piece of charcoal or coal lasted. Probably about 30 seconds, maybe. So we're going to have to make sure that we feed that with a constant source of uh, of heat. Uh, probably going to go with botany pots for now until we get the... Um, until we get uh, the blaze cake thing up and running. Uh, I think that will probably be the, the next thing. So, um, all right. So I'm going to end this episode here. We didn't get as much as we wanted to accomplish, but... We still got quite a bit done. We got the this done, so that way next time we can come back and we can hopefully use this. Um, so this is how you align everything. So we're going to want everything to go... Let's start with the top. So these ones will come down. Actually, we'll make these ones all go like that and then come down. These ones go up then that will go forward 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 these will all go forward like that and then they'll join here and then i can put like a crate here and then all the items will go inside the crate so all the items will move forward these two will come down uh this one will come down this one will go up then they'll all three will move over together and then they'll all join down into here and they'll make the item which will be pretty cool and then that's that i believe that's that is that way pointing oh okay so that should be into a chest all right so that's how that should go um and that should go like that. That should go like that. All right, that's right. That's right. Now that I'm looking at how everything works there, that's how everything is going to work. So everything's going to work its way over from the right, or the left, going to the right. And then when it gets to the last row, this will come down. This will go up. Then the last row will move over together. And then it'll all come down to create the crushing web. So that's, that's set up for next time then we can probably finish setting all this up so since i'm gonna have power coming from here i'm probably just gonna set the power up coming here from over there now and then here i'll just transfer the power from the belt um going up into the system so we can put our crusher or put this thing back up and then i'll probably put the the other machine here where we can make our plates so but uh yeah and then we got our awesome boiler up and ready so that's good uh next episode we will work on doing the crushing wheels and then getting the cake up and running so that way we can feed these things constant cakes. So we'll probably do like a little setup like maybe here for making cake. Um, and then that will be, I guess, the next step. <laughs> Is making the cake for these things for feeding them. Because um, 
Man, oh man, I'm telling you. Um, can you make another rack? Because I don't want to be. Um, oh. Oh. I don't want to necessarily. So we can make an essence. Where's that? Uh. Can make another rack here, cobblestone. So yeah, that's counterintuitive because you have to crush another rack in order to get that. Uh, you could do it this way. Uh, witch water and lava. That's interesting. That's really really interesting because witch water. You actually need the witch water, though, to be clicked onto it. Interesting. That's really interesting. wonder if it's something that you could put, like, a bucket over top. Like, a bucket of witch water over top of a, a barrel. Or if you actually have to click on the barrel itself. That's something we're checking out. Because, um... If we can set up a small little system where it just makes its own nether rack, well, then, uh... That would save us from having to go to the nether every once in a while and filling up a, a chest up there, right? Which probably would be a good idea. But um, So yeah, and then, uh, by the time we come back in the next episode, this will be centered. <laughs> and uh, we'll be good to go for, for uh, making the crushing wheels and setting everything up. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. A little, a little off track target today but uh, i was hoping that the water wheels would have furnished uh, at least the first little part of it but uh it was a fail so but uh yeah anyways so take care everybody see you next time bye bye